Hillsborough County is observing Vietnam Remembrance Day. It is a solemn occasion to honor the service of our Vietnam War veterans. Yeah, the keynote speaker today will be Rolf Arnheim. He's not only uh, remembers the trials of combat, but also the greeting he faced when returning home. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Falturo joins us live in Tampa with more on what this ceremony means for Vietnam veterans. Good morning, Nick. Hey, Jamison, Caitlin, good morning. And we're at Veterans Memorial Park. You can see it in the background, it's close right now where the ceremony is going to begin in just a few hours. But Artem says this day is not about recalling the past. It's about forging a path of service for the future. Medals, awards, and memorabilia adorn Ralph Arnhem's walls. The West Point graduate served two tours in Vietnam, but memories of battle have faded. What he remembers vividly, the unwelcome homecoming he faced. I think more about when I went through the airport in San Francisco three different times, and in every case uh, I was spit at, uh, people were throwing stuff at me, they were yelling and screaming at me. Uh, that's the memory that I carry. While those flashbacks still haunt him, he's proud of the progress he's seen. I am so pleased to see that those that have returned from Iraq and Afghanistan uh, are being welcomed home, are being thanked. The 94-year-old will be the keynote speaker at today's Vietnam Veterans Day ceremony. But it's not the combat that Arnhem wants to focus his message. Instead, he's highlighting serving beyond the battlefield. There are a number of ways that people can give back to our community, uh, and that's been ingrained from me from day one. And Artem's message is clear. Service doesn't end when the uniform comes off. It's a lifelong commitment to helping others and making a difference. There's no greater need than for people to serve someplace, somewhere in our own community. Now, Arnhem says this is also a great day and a great opportunity to welcome home veterans who didn't get a proper welcome when they returned from combat. Now, the ceremony is scheduled to begin here at 10 a.m. There is also going to be resources on hand for veterans. For now, reporting live in Tampa, Nick Volturo, 10 Tampa Bay.